here. Uh, Jackass Hot Sauce from Southwest Specialty Food. Uh, you can reach them at www.askkicking.com. I've done a couple of, of their sauces and uh, I have not been disappointed. So I'm looking forward to this one. This one, nah, not quite as hot as some of the other ones I've done, but uh, doesn't have to be hot for it to be good. Um, it's uh, well packaged. Um, I love their labeling. Um, got the scrawny neck jackass right there. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jackass. Uh, name tag I could wear comfortably. Um, from what I gather, it's a jalapeno sauce. So let's look and see what we got. Um, hmm. All right, got the top off. Shake it up good, as you should all hot sauces before you endeavor. Um, open it up. It's got the little spout on it. Pretty generous size hole in the middle of it. That's what she said. But I still always find that they get in the way, so I'm gonna take it off and shake it up one more good time. And uh see what we got going on with it. Trusty spoon. viscosity to it. It's uh, kind of watery, um, but smooth. Didn't really see any chunks coming out. Didn't see any chunks in the bottle. Uh, if you look at the, after the pouring, uh, you can see that there's some little bits and pieces of spices and stuff along the uh, neck of it. But let's see what we got going on here. salty. Um, salt is one of the first things I tasted. Um, salt, garlic, um, the vinegar is a nice tanginess on the back of the throat. Uh, back of the palate's got that tanginess that kind of makes your body start creating a lot of saliva. Um, but, um, I recognize the heat profile before I actually recognize not nah, I recognize the flavor profile before I really started recognizing much of a heat profile. Um, bit of saltiness, bit of vinegar to it. Um, I can really taste the uh, garlic and there's a couple other things in the foreground that, I mean in the background that I really, they're all kind of blended together pretty well. I don't know necessarily. Garlic, salt, vinegar, and uh, Jalapeno is what I taste right off the bat. Just a little bit more here. Um, sometimes when you shake a full bottle, you really don't agitate it really well. So let's see. A fairly traditional pepper sauce kind of a texture and flavor to it um, 
the heat it's there it's not you know not brutal but uh there's a heat there that uh it's like a warm more of a warmth than it is really like a any kind of a pungency to it um very tangy um let's see what we got going on here um once again like i said it's manufactured by uh, southwest specialty foods um they're based out of goodyear arizona and you can see them at www.asskicking.com or 1-800-536-3131 mm. Ingredients. We got water, jalapeno peppers, vinegar, salt, xanthan gum, garlic and spices, and it stays to refrigerate after opening. As a condiment sauce, I really like this. Um, the heat profile um, isn't distinct right off the bat, but it builds. But it, it doesn't build like a habanero sauce will build or something like that. It, it's like biting into a jalapeno. There's a little hint of it, but it kind of like slowly keeps warming up. and uh, But very manageable. Um, this would be a this would be a very good sauce for anybody that um, if you want to break from uh, you know some of your more traditional sauces that you may have been using for a long time. You would just want to try something a little different, but you don't want like to be massively different. Um, this would be a good sauce for you to give a try. Um, Whereas I don't think this sauce is going to last too terribly long because this is right the, you know, a lot of people think about hot sauces and they get, and they get too caught up in, you know, um, how is it based on Tabasco or how is it based off this traditional sauce or this type of sauce. And when I say traditional, I mean a primarily uh, vinegar, salt, uh, maybe some garlic or something up in there. And... A little bit of a chili bite to it but uh, I've always enjoyed that flavor and uh, I continue to enjoy it and I use it and there's a lot of uses for it you shake some shake a couple of you know dabs onto a piece of pizza or you're out you know and about and you know you want a little bit of pop to the you know food you're eating on or or even certain mixed drinks, but uh, I like this. Um, another thing here, um, on the back, there is a you know, jackass border beans, and this kind of caught my attention because a lot of hot sauces, they'll recommend uses, but it's mostly as a condiment type of thing. This is one that actually gives a recipe for some beans and in this particular case, pinto beans, and I happen to love pinto beans. And it's, um, you know, I can read it up through you, but I'm just going to post it down in the description down below. And I'm actually going to make it, and I'm going to video making it and tell you how the beans turned out. But, um, this, uh, pretty tasty sauce. Um, heat profile is delicate it's not gonna burn your mouth off it's not gonna burn the hair off your tongue anything like that um, it's a nice warmth in the mouth and uh, the blend of uh, vinegar to salt to whatever and spices are um, makes well like I said, on the forefront, you taste jalapenos, you taste vinegar, you taste salt, you taste garlic. 
and then there's a bunch of other flavors that kind of are going along up in there in the background that really kind of make this sauce very tasty. I'm, I'm digging this sauce. I can't do too much of it because I'm going to make these beans with it. Primarily, salt, vinegar, um, more of a heat profile of the jalapeno than necessarily the flavor of the jalapeno, but it works well to make a very smooth sauce. Um, this is one of those sauces I would uh, I'd recommend to somebody that yeah likes a little bit of heat to some. They like the traditional hot sauce flavor. I would definitely uh, steer them in that direction. Um, nothing I've had from these guys um, has disappointed me yet. But um, it's not building. Other than it, it builds for about a minute, and that's about as warm as it gets. It don't really ever really get hot. It uh, just a nice warmth throughout the entire mouth, and that's uh, it's quite pleasant. Like I said, you don't always want to burn your the hair off your tongue. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be wickedly hot to be good. And sometimes the simpler sauces are some of the better sauces you'll ever try. So uh, don't get too caught up in that whole idea of being different just to, for the sake of being different. Um, I like this sauce. I'm looking forward to trying out their beans because I love pinto beans. Look, hot sauce like this yeah perfect for it anyway um, in the next couple of days I'm going to be putting out the video on the beans because I'm probably going to be fixing them tomorrow night and uh, I'm going to record it and see what they come out like anyway um, hope you all enjoyed the video um, you see jackass hot sauce and you're a big fan of traditional hot sauces, um, I would definitely, you know, give this a try. Um, don't think you'd be disappointed at all. But, uh, for all those that, that have, blah, 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 a little tongue-tied, for all those out there that have subscribed, uh, I appreciate it. And uh, for watching this and you hadn't, Please do uh, feel free to comment, leave any suggestions, and uh, I will catch up with y'all later. Peace.